Hello, my name is Amy Edgar and welcome back to my channel. I don't know why I am clapping. I guess I'm excited. Anyways, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a review on Bino, which is a wine subscription. So I've already been knee deep in this one. I had Mama Cornell in for our Mother's Day from Georgia. A wonderful lady we met almost 20 years ago that took us in as her children and her only child, a daughter, Michelle, was stayed with us over Mother's Day weekend also. So we had fun trying the two wines and have some feedback on those. I have already been knee deep in the salted caramels. You're not going to see those because I've already eaten them. I want to give a hip hip hooray for the three salted caramels that were in the box. But we're going to talk about some of the other products and then we'll finish up with the comments for the wine. So in this box seem to be kind of a Mother's Day inspiration for the box and kind of pampering yourself and kind of taking care of yourself. So the last box was around Valentine's Day and they did a great job having a Valentine's Day theme. So I really, really liked the theme around Mother's Day. They may not say that it was theme for Mother's Day, but that's how I felt. Okay, so we're gonna get into the slice mask sheet. It's in cucumber. Love masks, love cucumber. The they also give you these little bits in your vinyl package to explain it. So these slice masks are not your typical sheet mask. Each package comes with 12 individual slices. So they slice the cucumber for us. <laughs> and the slices are infused with different essences of the fruit or vegetable it was designed for. The slices enable you to target specific areas of the skin. And these innovative slices can be used on the face or the body as desired. Really, really love that fact. So this is founded in Korea and they now sell 70 and 70 countries worldwide. So you can have a salon experience by putting the slices wherever you want. Absolutely love cucumber and that does feel very spa-esque and relaxing. So go, go, Coco Slow Star. Go, go, Coco Star Slice Mask. Next we have the Daily Concepts Hair Towel. So this is your hair wrap towel for quick, dry, and comfortable fit. You can reduce your dry time and cut down on frizz with this soft and absorbent hair wrap that will keep a perfect partnering and your health your hair healthy. This towel is great for long or short hair and it's ideal for use daily. So love that. Haven't used this yet. However, there is a coupon code for this, a promo code called DailyVine020. And that is for 20% off your entire purchase. That lasts until 12-15. We have the Hemp's Pink Pomaleo and Himalayan Sea Salt Herbal Body Moisturizer. So we're staying in that very spa-esque theme for this month. This body moisturizer is lightweight. It's a creamy formula that helps provide dramatic skin hydration and nourishment. The hemp seed oil is fused with pink pomelo extract. Did I say pomelo earlier? I just added extra uh, letters there. And a sea moisture complex consisting of red algae and seawater, shea butter, vitamins A, C, and E. It's a natural antioxidant. And um, this formulates this formulation, I cannot speak today, rejuvenates and invigorates the skin, leaving it feel soft, smooth, and supple. So again, we have a code, promo code, valued through 1231 of 19 for 20% off. The promo code is EC16168. Now this has a very sweet scent to it. I did rub this on and I really liked how it felt. If you guys like Bath and Body Works, it does have kind of that smell, that sweet smell that you get from Bath and Body Works. It does soak into the skin really nice. It just, again, we're staying with that spa feel. Absolutely fantastic. Last, we have the Amica Room Fragrance. And so this room fragrance is at a good size. It's at 3.3 fluid ounces. 
and it says to shake well before each use is free of sulfates and are cruelty free. <laughs> Obviously, I need to get back to my copy. This will freshen any room or linen with the invigorating scent. It's got an intoxicating blend of warm vanilla, fresh citrus, and spicy clover that perks up a room instantly with just a spritz. Now, what I love about these room and fabric refreshers is that for guests, I love to put these in the guest bedroom and spritz down the pillows and the sheets and the comforter just to give an extra kind of smell or relaxing relaxing smell in a guest bedroom right before the guests arrive so that it just smells fresh and clean. I also like using these uh, for my husband and I to spritz down our pillows before we go to bed for that very relaxing type spa also. So I do do that for my husband and I. And I'm really excited about trying the Amica Room fragrance and utilizing it. Okay, them. the last piece is um, the wine. And let's talk about the wine. Just so you guys know, the Amica Room fragrance retails for $28. Hemp's Herbal Body Moisturizer retails for $23. The Hair Towel Wrap retails for $18. The Caramels, there were three in the box, retail for eight. The Coco Star Slice Mask is $5, and the Custom Wines are between $21 and $26 each, so a total value of $124. I do want to talk about the wines, because I did get comments from both Cornell and Michelle for this video. I knew I wasn't going to be filming it while they were here, so I at least wanted to get a copy of their notes on the wine review. So you guys get kind of two more people's comments, not just my own. So we started out with the Tynes Rosé. Again, these custom wines retail for $21 or $26 a bottle. The wine was crisp, but not fruity. It kind of, when you first smelled it, smelled good. When you first put it on your tongue, tasted good. But as one of the ladies said, it had a pungent aftertaste, kind of a tart or turpentine taste. And they, they didn't feel like they could justify $21 to $26 on the bottle of rosé. That one did take a while for us to kind of work through because we, we powered through. Or maybe I powered through. Because if you're going to open a bottle of wine, you probably should power through. Just saying. Um, it, it did smell great. It tasted great at first. But again, the aftertaste was more than what I would have expected. I believe that one was my comment. And then one of the other ladies commented, I wouldn't have thought it was a 20-ish bottle of wine. The t aftertaste was tough. So that kind of gives you an idea of the rosé. I am not a rosé drinker. I don't really care for sweeter wines either, but the ladies that I were with are kind of lean more towards that type of wine. So just wanted to kind of give you an update from three opinions. The spectac Spectacle Red Wine Blend. Let's talk about that. It was definitely better than the rosé. It was light on the tongue with a peppery aftertaste. That one, if you if you like something light on the tongue with a peppery aftertaste, I would say between the two, and if I was going to spend $21 to $26 on a bottle of the red, I would definitely go there. I don't believe Michelle had tried that one. She just kind of, the rosé was enough for her at that point. So Cornell and I did try the red. We both thought that it was better than the rosé by far and that it was a lot more enjoyable. So if I was going to, or Cornell was going to spend $21 on 21 and $26 bottle of wine between the two, I definitely would have done that on the red wine blend. So hope that helps you understand the full Vino package. This is a quarterly wine subscription. I believe it's $59.99. I do love the gifts that they give you. The Valentine's Day package was fantastic. This Mother's Day-esque box, relaxation spa type box was definitely fantastic. And even if you take away the wine from the box, 
you're, you still get your money's worth with the additional products that they put in the box. I love the creativity. I love the themes. I, I just think that that is absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to go ahead and keep the subscription going to try some of their other wines and see how they do. So I don't want to quit the subscription too early because I've had maybe one or two bottles that I just really didn't care for because the subscription as a whole is, is just adorable. So anyways, hope that helps you with this box of um, winery subscription box. And yeah, I look forward to talking to you in the next quarter to see what the next box of Vino does for its subscribers. I look forward to talking to you all soon and I hope you have a great day. Until next time.